All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to TWR. My name is Tavian, and this is my world of reptiles, and I hope you are all doing awesome and taking care of yourselves. So this morning, I'm just kind of walking around, seeing what I need to do or what I need to get when I go to work today. I do need to get some feeder bugs. I need to get some crickets. I got to feed my tarantulas. They are all kind of out and about over here. Got my Borneo Black there, who is getting much more brave and is staying out and about. If I were to touch it, he'd hide. But uh, yeah, I've got the Balfouri over there. You can just barely see my golden blue leg. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, you got my bird ear out right there. Everybody's looking pretty hungry. Uh, there goes my pumpkin patch right there. Uh, even this little guy is kind of poking out. You can see his little feet right there. That is the uh, Swahili uh, that has always just been like a hider who's never been active to come out at all. So when they're really starting to come out and be like this, I really know that it is getting close to time to do a feeding for them. I usually just try to do it once a week, but I don't always remember, and I think I think last week I missed it with the whole Thanksgiving and everything, so they're all probably pretty darn hungry. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get them some crickets today. Uh, but I do have some treats for Bam Bam and Pebbles, my leopard gecko, and for Juicy also. Now, Juicy has had the hornworms, but I uh, just try to keep things varied for him every once in a while. So his treat this week is going to not be a hornworm. It's going to be a waxworm. So waxworms are just kind of like, just a treat. They're not super nutritious. They don't have a whole lot going for them, but they do, most animals tend to really enjoy them treat-wise. Uh, but if you have an animal that can be complicated with getting them off of the treaty stuff, you might have problems with this one, uh, which I'll talk about that with Juicy here in a little bit. But I'm going to come on over here. I apologize um, about the lack of light on my face. There's no light over here on this side of the room. But I'm going to get my... Crescent gecko, my crescent geckos, my leopard geckos out well, one at a time here. Let's turn this around. Boom, boom. Ugh. All right, let's get one out. Time, I gotta do something different in this setup. Where are you? There you are. Come here, my friend. I have a treat for you. Ugh. I have a treat for you. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? You want a treat? Yeah. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't start trying to take off. These guys can be so fast. Uh, trying to get the box open. Maybe I should have had it open beforehand. All right. You want that? Do you want that? Mm hmm? Yeah, that's the problem. I think this is going to happen. Leopard ge My leopard geckos tend to not be as active in front of me. They're mostly just like, I'm just going to get away. Uh, so trying to get them to take a treat or anything in front of me is a whole nother story. So, okay, fine. This is Bam Bam, and he does not want to participate today. That's fine. All right, back you go, Bam Bam. Get that all fixed for you so we can go back to how we had it. There you go. Go. There you go. All right, all right. Let's try pebbles. Pebbles. Oop! Put my hand in front of the camera. Where are you, pebbles? I got a treat. You want to try? Neither of you guys are ever I'm like. I'll eat in front of you, type. They're just so sketchy. All right. How about that? You pebbles. Do you want this? Huh? No. You also just want to turn away. Do you want it? It looks delicious. No. No. Okay. That is fine. That is fine. That is fine, Pebbles. Neither of you want to eat in front of me ever. Hey, where are you going? Good thing that was not a very far drop. Hi. Hi. Say hi, Pebbles. Hi. All right, there you go. There you go. Put your stuff back. I gotta do some reorganizing and making this just look better for you as well. There you go. I, <laughs> I guess I'm not super surprised. I mean, I, uh, I've i been feeding them. Like, I have these little dishes for their food in there. And honestly, like, the cooler it's been getting in the winter time, I feel like they're eating a lot less. Um, 
So uh, that's usually I usually have to kind of replace the the fears inside of that uh, every not you know every one every couple of days, but I haven't because they haven't been eating them that quickly. So it might just be a slowdown on their metabolism for right now with the change in the seasons and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna stress about it, but they did not want my treat. So bummer on that. That's okay. I just gotta get this up off the ground. Whew. Get myself up off the ground. <laughs> All right, we're going to go see if Juicy will want some of these wax worms. Now, my issue with giving Juicy some of these um, is when I finally got Juicy to actually eat bugs on his own, like, regularly. I got him to eat doobie roaches, which is great. Um, but uh, he just decided after I got, after that, I tried to switch him, give him just to try some real worms and all that good stuff. However... He just he he got, he got on the mealworms and then he wouldn't go back to dubious, uh, and he only wanted anything that looked like a mealworm or a superworm, uh, and so. But recently he got back onto dubious again. I just kind of withheld <laughs> food for a little bit until he was like, okay, I'll eat the roaches. But so I'm kind of hesitant to try him on the waxworms. But we're gonna try. Come here, juicy juice. I got us a treat, juicy juice. Hi, baby. Woo. There you go. There you go. All right. Jamali, I need to close this door. Because I am going to put him down. And if he gets bolty, I don't want him going out of the room. Keep this contained, people. I had to close Rogue in. <laughs> also don't want that interaction to happen. All right, Juicy, you ready? Yeah. You ready? Come here. Come here. Ugh, come here. Come <laughs> Oh my gosh. Where are you at? You're on my back. There you go. Oh, now you're on my head. Okay. Come here. Come, 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 come. Juicy. My lord. Calm it down. Calm down. I have a delicious treat for you. Do you want to see it or not? Good gracious. All right. You ready? There's one. Get this stuff off of it. Boom. There you go. There's your treat, Juicy. There's your... Oh, ho, ho, yeah. You didn't have no problems eating that. Huh. Not a lick. I'm just going to throw a couple of these out here for you. To get to at your leisure. Boop, 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 boop. Get that out of there. There you go, Juicy. Get you some delicious little wax worms. I'm gonna give you those three and two more. Boom, 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 boom. And oh, come here. They're so. Oh, that was a little bit more than I meant to do. It's okay. There you go, Juicy. You like those wax worms, buddy? Huh? Rogue, these are not for you. They're not for you. They're for Juicy. You get the dubias and the big old fatty hornworms. Rogue is jealous. Rogue is jealous of you, Juicy. You see that? You see that? <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> oh, oh, juicy. Get it. Good job. You got all your treats, juicy. Did you like that? Was those yummy? Oop, got my fingers in the camera again. My bad, my bad. Was that yummy? Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> Awesome, 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 awesome. Juicy Juice liked the wax worms. He's all about those bad boys. I like it. We got Rogue over here. Super, super jealous. I'll give you some roaches, Rogue. I'll give you some roaches in a little while. This is about Juicy's treats, though. You get treats all the time. You get treats all the time. I think the way he's acting, that he does not get treats all the time. Or she. She does not get treats all the time, but she does. She gets treats all the time. 
She is a good one. She's good, good, good. Ooh, all right. Ooh, all right. All right. Juicy. Oh, I'm sweating. My gosh. Oh, one of those hot mornings. <laughs> so, all right, creep. So I got Juicy since night. The leopard geckos did not want to eat. Uh, all right, all right. And it's a little later in the day, and I just got home from work. Uh, I am in this transition period between uh, my first job and my second job. Uh, so, uh, came home, and I'm heading to my isopod island, because we're going to add some new family members in there. I'm super excited about these new uh, additions, uh, because... I mean, they're just so cute. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for them. I don't want to talk about it. But uh, I got some new isopods. And the first ones are called Orange Dalmatians. Um, and they're really cute because they kind of remind me of, like, the uh, the popcorn jelly belly beans. Just kind of like that white with the yellowish dots on them or whatever. Um, and they, they totally remind me of those. Oh, gosh, they're on the lid. So let me get them off of the lid here. Boom, boom, off the lid, off the lid, thank you. All right, I'm going to turn this around so we can see. Boom, there they are. Oh, my goodness, are they not just the cutest little things? I mean, oh, I got to put this down so that I can, like, see if I can adjust the, there we go, a little bit. So you can see the colorings the way I do. Like, oh, man, they're, they're just so beautiful. Like, I can't even handle it. Yeah, let's turn that down a little bit. So, yeah, I really like these. These are the um, Orange Dalmatians. Just really loving their cute little markings, how pretty they are. They're going to just make really awesome little additions to the Isopod Island there. So, we're going to go ahead and put those in. Welcome home. Welcome home. Do, do, do. Just going to dump you guys over there in that little corner. And boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh, making sure there's no more. Babies in there. All right, sweet. And I'm just going to leave those like so. And I got another one here. This one was called, let's see, they're papaya. Oh, man, these guys. Oh, oh they like sent pictures of them uh, to our work group chat. You're on the lid, too. Get off the lids. Uh, to our work group chat, and I was like, oh, God, I, I, I'm gonna have to get them. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, and so, I did. And so, let me turn this around so you can see. There they are. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at them. They're so pretty. Just the slightest tint of, like, pink and just, like, I mean, just, just papaya-like. I mean, very, very, very pretty. So, so cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. Look at them. They're going. They are going. And the fact that these guys are actually kind of out and active on top of the the stuff here is pretty encouraging. I'm hoping that that means I will get to see them being very active. And after a long while, of course, I know that these guys can, can vary in how long it takes for them to actually take off and get older and breed and all that good stuff. After a long while, if we get enough of these, then I would love to put them in, like, one of my frogs enclosures or whatever so that I can see them a little bit more frequently than just having to look through the isopod island, but actually just kind of see them hanging out around, like, maybe in, like, maybe in that one or in the one with the Cuban tree frog, but I mean, ah, they're so cute. They are so cute. Oh. I think I said I wasn't going to show you the price, but you may have seen them when I <laughs> held up the container for it, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these guys in. So, boom, I'm just going to take you over here in this corner. Boop, 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 boop. And you can find your way to where y'all want to be. And then, of course, I will adjust that as necessary with all this new stuff in here. But, yeah, little Isopod Island is growing, getting some new babies in there, some papaya and some orange Dalmatians. Looks like they've already kind of burrowed themselves up in there. There's one just kind of peeking out right there. But, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love my little Isopod Island. It's so good. I like to be able to, like, lift up a piece of log or something and just find my little bugs, and they're so fun. They're so fun. I love to catch little roly-polies when I was a kid. 
And of course, these have nothing on those. Like, I always thought that, you know, the Great Roly Poles, those were cool. I thought those were beautiful. And I was like, oh, I love those. And then, like, I started working with reptiles and learning about feeder crews. And then I started working at this pet store. And let me tell you what, to see all the different isopods that were out there, I just, I just fell hell over heels. And now here I am, just but spinning. Um, 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 embarrassingly amounts amount of money for, uh, some isopods because I enjoy looking at them and they're cute. Um, and they don't even, they're not even always out. Like, I'd have to actually, like, pick things up and look for them. And yet, I choose to keep them anyway. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this video up here. It's getting to be a little bit of a long one. So you all take care. Love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. And you all keep spreading those herbs.